I was born in Vilverd, Belgium, January 21st, 1976. My mom told me she had an appointment that day with the doctor, went in, left, 15 minutes was back, and I was delivered. My dad was told to go somewhere else. He went to the cafeteria, and then I was born so quickly because I was only five pounds, one ounce, I believe, that they run downstairs. It was a hospital with nuns, and they were very upset that he was gone. So they ran downstairs to get him so that he was there for the birth. My other memory from Belgium is going to preschool and didn't speak Dutch. But I learned some words. And I did have friends there. I would go in in the morning and we would play and learn all morning long and then I would walk home, or my mom would come pick me up, and we would walk back home, have lunch, and after. And I was one of the only ones who spoke English. We came back stateside in June of 1981. Never went back out, stayed in America the rest of my growing up. One of the things I remember is that I was teased in school and told I was not a U.S. citizen because I wasn't horny. But that wasn't true because my parents were citizens, so I automatically became a citizen when I was born. When we first moved back to the U.S., we found a little place in Claremont, Minnesota that was an old school or church. And we lived there for one year. That was a unique place to live. And then we found like an actual house that my parents purchased. It was on Rural Road 3, that's all I remember. And it was in Oatana, Minnesota. It was a little place with three acres. And it had some outbuildings. One of them was a little barn that we had sheep, chickens, pigs in one year. And then we had a big, huge garage. And Dad put up fencing and we had sheep. The sheep could be kind of aggressive sometimes if you were in there with them. One of them butted me one time and made me fall over. And then one year my parents, he raised a heifer. She got out quite a bit. We called her trouble. Then we ate her all winter long. One year we raised a whole bunch of chickens, and then we butchered them all. And we ate chicken all winter long. It was so, like, it got really tedious having chicken every night for supper. My parents had a wood-burning stove in the basement, and we had one room that was open to the outside through a window. We called the wood room. We filled it up with wood. And it was right by the furnace. So it wasn't hard to get wood for the furnace. And of course we were in Minnesota, so it got really cold in the winter time. Sometimes we'd find really big spiders on that wood that was in there. Which was interesting, but was really gross too. We were always playing in the woods, and there was a stream in the woods, a really good flowing one. That was really fun to play in. And there was so much snow all the time. There was even a sledding hill. We would be outside for hours. I have so many good memories from that place. And our neighbors had woods surrounding their house which was between our house and theirs. And they let us play in those woods, on the trails and in their creek. And in their little sumac forest area. It was so fun. My parents planted probably a hundred trees. 
in three rows on that property. It took them so long. And it was a lot of money. And those trees are huge now. Because they were planted in the 80s. They're so beautiful. I'm glad you feel that way. I mean, I know I'm a perfect mommy by any stretch of the imagination. But definitely, there were some things that I wanted to do with you. Jennifer, it drives me crazy. I won't be here for your wedding. That's really hard. Right. I know. I hope I can see Earth from heaven. I think you can. Because I want to see. <laughs> and I look like you and he thinks I'm beautiful. <laughs> Tells me it all the time. Oh, you are beautiful, honey. I'm glad he can see that. Your spirit is beautiful. And I don't want you to ever forget that. Or I think you need to remember that about yourself, that you are really a treasure and you deserve to be treated well, just like everybody else. And one day I'm going to write a book. Yes, you are. But all of this. Good. You could write part of it and Dad could write part of it. Because we need good authors and people who can inspire us and share their journeys. You know, Mom, none of this is going to be wasted. <laughs> and I don't understand any of it. But I do know that God is still very Yes. And I'm not worried about where you're going. All right. Getting my strength from God comes first of all from being able to really um, know truth and understand truth correctly and look to the word for um, understanding motherhood and not to the world because the world's idea of motherhood is so self-centered and God taught me that every time I got to see my baby's face for the first time was probably the most like worshipful experience of my life. So I got to do that 10 times and such a blessing. And so I would think about that as I was going through the pains of labor and some of the fears and just waiting for this baby to come forth. And he would remind me, when you get to look at this baby's face, this baby was made by me for from your genetics and Sean's to live for eternity, for my glory and for you to enjoy. And so I knew that experience was coming when I got to see that baby's face for the first time and realized like this is the God's gift to me. And I would just wait you know, patiently going through the pain and and trying to keep my mind stayed on that God wants to give me this gift and it's coming, but I have to first do the hard work of delivering the child and that he will be there with me every step of the way. What's your best parenting advice? To keep your children's hearts by talking to them. I really like the infant stage. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And to watch them grow. What do you think has been the best part about having kids? Well, I think it grows you up. It teaches you so much. Mm -hmm. If you give into it. And it's just fun to watch another human being become something from a baby all the way up. Yeah. Would you say it's probably been one of the most rewarding experiences? You know? Oh, definitely the most rewarding. Being married to me. Yeah. <laughs> that and having kids. <laughs> I knew what you were talking about. Parenting, I knew yeah. what you were talking about. I just had to tease you. I love you. I love you. I love you.